Heather Samuelson, Hillary Clinton's attorney, received immunity from the Justice Department. Who was Heather Samuelson? She is the lawyer who deleted the emails for Hillary Clinton on her behalf. So you've heard those 33,000 emails that were deleted. Those were the State Department records that Hillary Clinton took improperly from the State Department when she left. When she called out on it, she had Heather Samuelson go through the records and supposedly delete the personal records. So Heather Samuelson, the Clinton lawyer who deleted her records, was given immunity by the Justice Department in 2016. Specifically, she was given production immunity, meaning that when she gave documents to the Justice Department, that uh, she would be immune from prosecution for anything related to that production, it seems. Now, how did we find this out? Thanks, once again, Judicial Watch discovery, to Judicial Watch's discovery in the Clinton email issue. Specifically, we had a lawsuit over the Benghazi issue. The Clinton emails were discovered as a part of this lawsuit. A federal court judge, Royce Lambert, in examining uh, what went on, found that the Justice Department and the State Department were uh, really egregious in their efforts uh, to gain the system here. And he wants to know whether Hillary Clinton avoided, uh, used this email system to avoid uh, the disclosures of the Freedom of Information Act. He wants to know if the, uh, the courts were, uh, whether specifically his court was uh, trying was uh, subject to being gamed by the State Department and the Justice Department in terms of telling him and the uh, Judicial Watch uh, that there were no Clinton emails or suggesting there were no other documents when in fact they knew about the Clinton emails in order to shut the case down. And then of course he wants to know if there are other emails that should be reviewed pursuant uh, to FOIA that are out there of Hillary Clinton's. Now as part of that uh, discovery effort, we were authorized to talk to nearly a dozen witnesses. And Judge Lamberth, in finding, um, giving us the ability to take this discovery, by the way, discovery given to us over the objections of the Justice Department and the FBI, not during Obama, but during the Trump administration, deep state still protecting uh, the Hillary Clinton gang. Uh, Judge Lamberth found that uh, Hillary Clinton's misuse of the system, her email system, was one of the gravest modern offenses to government transparency. One of the gravest modern offenses to government transparency. So he granted our request to depose, among others, Heather uh, Samuelson. As I said, Heather Samuelson was a private lawyer at the time these emails were deleted. Now we do know that some of the emails that were deleted, because Judicial Watch has received the emails that the FBI was able to recover or otherwise find of that group that Heather Samuelson deleted included government records, included classified records. So when Hillary Clinton told you, well, those were personal emails, they were about yoga and weddings, that's not true. First of all, it wasn't technically true because all the records technically were State Department records. They weren't, quote, personal. They weren't hers to have. But secondly, literally it wasn't true because we were given government records from that group of emails that were uh, recovered from the material that Heather Samuelson deleted for Hillary Clinton. So this is news. We didn't know that Samuelson received immunity. Now we've heard about all of this immunity that was handed out like candy uh, uh, as a result of this sham investigation by James, C James Comey's FBI and Loretta Lynch's Justice Department. So the Obama administration had zero interest in prosecuting Hillary Clinton, it's now evident. And so they were giving out immunity after immunity agreement. And in the case of Heather Samuelson, the person who deleted these emails, is a, the, the, destruction of, the destruction of those emails is a, is a significant legal event. Some have alleged there were subpoenas that were obstructed as a result of that and other things obstructed. And she admits in the testimony, I was provided limited production immunity by the Department of Justice. And when was that? My recollection, it was June 2016. Right in the middle of the campaign, they gave the person who deleted emails immunity. The corrupt Justice Department did. And she also contradicted what she told the FBI because she told the FBI and it's interesting, Samuelson 
worked at the State Department with Hillary Clinton. So she wasn't just some outside lawyer who came in later to help her out on this email issue. She was at the State Department. She was one of the Hillary Clinton insiders. Samuelson testified, contrary to what she told the FBI, that she found out about the Clinton email system while she worked at the State Department. Ms. Samuelson, when did you first become aware that Secretary Clinton used the email address hdr22clintonemail.com while she was at the State Department? I believe I became aware when either she emailed me on personal matters such as wishing me happy birthday or when I infrequently would receive emails forwarded to me from others at the department that heard, had, her, had that email address listed elsewhere in a document. Okay, and who were the State Department officials? I recall Cheryl Mills. But it could have been others. Now, Cheryl Mills was Hillary Clinton's top counselor at the State Department, close to Hillary Clinton, who the judge also excoriated for her loathsome behavior in another Clinton email scandal. And Judge Lambert said he couldn't believe the Justice Department gave her immunity too because of our other misconduct the judge found. So she recognizes Samuelson did, the lawyer who deleted the emails. She admitted to us in testimony that she knew about Clinton's email usage at the State Department. But this is what she told the FBI, according to a notation. In a 302 report of Samuelson's interview with FBI agents, we've got the record. Samuelson did not become aware of Clinton's use of a private email account and server until she was serving as Clinton's personal attorney. I read you her testimony. I read you what she told the FBI. The two are at odds. Is there going to be an investigation as to why she changed her story? Attorney General Barr, call your office. This took place, by the way, this deposition. There were Justice Department attorneys there. Do they report back to their people when issues like this arise? Now, it's interesting. After she left the State Department, Samuelson didn't go straight to the private practice. Guess where she went? Oh, wait, the Obama White House, the White House Counsel's Office. And then she became Clinton's personal lawyer around 2014. And she also talks about Doug Band. Who's Doug Band? Doug Band is a Clinton Foundation official who immediately began communicating and using the Clinton State Department to provide favors and benefits and jobs to Clinton Foundation donors and friends contrary to what Hillary Clinton promised would happen, that there'd be a bright line between her office and the Clinton Foundation. It was a big lie. It was pay to play almost immediately upon her taking office. And Band was sending personnel people, uh, people to work over there to the State Department including one aide who was hired, Brock Johnson, who was involved in the cover-up of the Clinton email scandal. So a really incestuous crew over there. This Clinton Foundation recommended official gets embroiled in the Clinton email cover-up, all uncovered by Judicial Watch. So this is pretty astonishing stuff. It's uh, really critical. It's critically important that you recognize the abuse of authority and abuse of power by the Justice Department in this case, where they are giving immunity to someone who did something like what Heather Samuelson did, deleting tens of thousands of government records for Hillary Clinton. And by the way, there's an after action report on that document destruction. We weren't able to get answers from her because they asserted a privilege. So uh, we've taken all the witness testimony. I think we've allowed to be taken. We are we are allowed to have been taken by um, the judge thus far. 
we may seek additional testimony. But some, and, and more material will be coming out because we go through this witness testimony, we'll be releasing it to you. You can read the entire transcript of Hillary Clinton's lawyer's testimony. I, I, just want to, I just want to remind you what's going on here. It's Judicial Watch that is taking the testimony of these Clinton email scandal witnesses, not Congress, not the current Justice Department. It's now almost two and a half years, and the Justice Department has been virtually frozen on the Clinton email scandal. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little impatient. Actually, it's worse than frozen. They've opposed efforts by Judicial Watch to uncover the truth. I talked about this discovery. They opposed discovery, both the State Department and the Justice Department.